15 years after facing each other in League Two, two clubs that were hit with points deductions will meet in the top flight for the first time. Asterisk. We're the Premier League's two smallest clubs with the two smallest stadiums. We've had financial issues, recriminations with the Football League and the FA, yet despite that, we've both made it to the pinnacle of English football. The Cherries doing so in 2015, Luton Town more recently in 2023. On December the 16th last year, we were due to play our first ever top flight match, but after 59 minutes, the game became completely irrelevant, with Hapter's captain, Tom Lockyer, collapsing on the pitch, suffering a cardiac arrest. He literally died after his heart stopped for two minutes and 40 seconds during this harrowing on-pitch affair. It sounds horrendous, but to add a football slant on this, Cherry star James Hayter scored a hat-trick in this time with 20 seconds to spare. That's how long Tom wasn't with us for. Thankfully though, after some amazingly quick action from the players, staff members and medical teams from both clubs, Tom's life was not over, and fans from all sides of the Vitality Stadium were singing his name, willing for more positive news to come. With the game suspended, it was an emotional time. It was quite numbing, and myself and Tom Jordan, we were outside trying to make some sense of it all. It probably came across a little bit garbled at the time. It was raw and a little bit mentally difficult to accept, but with news slowly coming through that Tom Lockyer was okay, it was a huge relief. And I suppose it only heightened Cherry's fans' desires to do something when the teams would meet again. Well, tonight we do meet again and Tom Lockyer will be there. And it promises to be an emotional and perhaps difficult night for the players, for the staff, for the fans. There are various things going on in and around the ground that we'd like to highlight on this vlog. And of course, there is then the small matter of a crunch Premier League fixture to play too. But for now, let's get to the game and let's do this thing. Come on. Simon Kay from Talking Cherries is here. It's a different type of game today, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very. I want three points. Yeah, of course. But at the yeah. end of the day, we're here to be available for anyone who wants to talk over uh, the experience of the first game and also talk about how they might feel tonight. So we've had a couple of conversations with people who wanted to just uh, go through that. But on the whole, it's a very uh, jovial positive atmosphere and Heather chair of Cherries Trust is here as well explain how busy you've been today because I gather you got here quite early there's been uh, a lot to do we've been here since 4:30. Um, Gail's been doing a lot of like media stuff out the front and I've just been milling around chatting to people but most of the work that we did was before the match um, getting the fundraiser up and running and arranging stuff with the club um, for tonight I think many people have said what makes it easier is Tom's all right and he's here tonight. So for them, it's probably a lot easier to have a positive emotional spin yeah. on the fixture than if it had sadly gone the other way. Right, so we've got Dave Gregory here from Oh When The Town podcast. Yeah. This is a strange one, Dave, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's an emotional day. Uh, Locke here being here and, uh, you know, and all that. But I think we've got to put that to one side and we've got to concentrate on the business really tonight. It's really important that Luton don't lose. A win would be fantastic in our position. When we when we came before, I think it was on a bit of form. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, take the take the early lead and then the incident happens and then at the end of the day, it gets a bit worrying, doesn't it? Uh, thankfully, the staff here were amazing. The medical staff were amazing. Lock his back. Mm. Put that to one side. Do the business tonight. We're on a real poor squad at the moment. Everyone's ill. You know, everyone's yeah. injured. So it's a makeshift squad. If we get something out of this evening, it'll be a big bonus leading up to our game on Saturday. Right, we're heading in shortly, and I genuinely haven't seen the teams. You, not? I, you know, I know sometimes I blag this, but I haven't oh, seen the teams. I was What's close, mate. I was really close. Right. I called the old Dango Cine, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, so that's happening. So Tav, Tav and Kirk has been dropped. So Unal, though, I presume, isn't. No, I got that okay. wrong. But it's not Cliver either. Oh. Uh, Alex Scottson in that, oh, okay. that colour 10, I guess. Um, Neto's obviously remains in goal. As for Luton, I just spoke to a Luton fan then. They've got a Japanese guy who's coming at the back because of their injuries. So they're a little bit short at the back, but they, they're, they're hoping for good so things from him. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. They've got a few few knocks and stuff. But I was close. I think I was 10 out of 11 on ours and 9 out of 11 on theirs. Um, Should we go on in? Yeah, go on then. That's the boy. <laughs> Right, we are in nice and early, and of course there's a reason for that, but uh, 
This is interesting. I've never been in where they're taking the practice goals away and taking the nets down. This is what it's all about. is walking out onto the pitch. Camera's clean. Oh, oh, wow, 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 Huge, huge goal. Same as last time, early goal for them. This time it wasn't out of my own, this time it's Chong. Lovely little dink to ball, and he just goes to the end to, to nod it in. Not an ideal start to XA, my goodness. It's been so sloppy up to Yeah, no, no real quality from anyone, really. But that was that was quality. Quality yeah, was. Yeah. Wow. What's the start? It's hard to feel that gutted in a way. There are bigger things that we're all thinking about before the game, but for them this is absolutely huge. Oh tasty. Oh my god, oh my god. That, oh, that was needed from Meps. Tom shouting stop the cross behind me. I mean should have had room to get it in there, but the deep on that right hand side, my god, corner to me. My god! Two. We're at sixes and sevens, we've got no control over this game at all, we're awful. Fans are not happy. Benny's been causing us problems all game so far on that right hand side. I mean, yeah. in fact, all of their right hand side has, but we're awful. And look, Neil's not happy. Neil is not happy. He, he's gone already. <laughs> oh, a lot of problems there. Lots of angry people. And when was the last time you teamed down? A whole one game ago, sir. Quite a bit of retort for what it really is. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Ross Barkley, wow, put in shades of offside there, but maybe not. 3 0 half time, and what a good strike it was. I mean, they're in dreamland today. We are absolutely atrocious, mate. I don't know if I've seen a more defensive flat foot performance from us oh, uh, since relegation, I think. I, it really is very poor. So bad. Whatever's happened, the team aren't up for it. Areola's got it wrong, maybe, with a few selections. And everyone's going out for half time well early, though. Listen to that, listen to that. Our time then, nil three. I saw you coming down here, Tom. 
Yeah, right on time. Minute. Well, a little bit later, actually. Yeah, I missed the goal. I think you need to go back to 38 rather than 39. Um, yeah, it was fair. Yeah, we had a corner, so I thought you never know. Everything's um, happening down their right side. Our left side struggling. Credit to to Rob Edwards because they they've looked it, haven't they? They played everything down that right side. For the first goal, he should stop the cross, but whoever's in the middle is supposed to be marking. Don't free header. Second goal, Smithy gets absolutely dusted. Um, and then the third goal, I'd say I missed, I've watched it back, and Barkley gets the, a lot of room, good yeah. strike, but again, it's from that channel again, um, so yeah, it's concerned, but then we're trying to go down that side, we've chucked the tigs in, and so many had got the game, because we're, um, we're we're trying to go down that side, I think it feels like we're just hoping for City to just beat a few men and yeah, do yeah. something. Look at this, mate, crap performance against Burnley, yeah. thankfully won that, crap performance against United, crap performance yeah. against Luton, and the second half's just about to start, so let's get in, shall we? Oh yeah, go on then. Right, we've taken our seat and we're out for the second half. Come on then. By the way, we've made a few changes. What's happened to us? Boss, go! So, uh, Boss, Tab go! has come on Boss, go! for Sinny. Boss, go! And who now? Right flank. What ball from the left to the right? That's what he does. 
Unbelievable night at Decourt. I've just been on YouTube, watched the goals, of course, and just been looking at this poor fella. I feel for him and I feel for the Luton Town supporters. It could have been a really romantic evening for them, and all the cliches can be brought out in terms of it being a game of two halves, as Steve said on fan camps, night and day, all that kind of stuff. Effectively, it was just a really atrocious first 45 for Bournemouth. It was really poor, but we came out all guns blazing, and what. A second half. It was a day where football was almost forgotten about for a bit with all the Tom Lockyer stuff that was going on and it was really good to see him in good health. What the future holds for him, we don't know, but uh, glad to see him there. And it must have been hard um, for you know the medical teams, the, the, the players, the fans to be returning to the scene of, of what happened in December. And it was nearly the perfect day for Tom Lockyer, alas, you know, I, I still think Luton will be all right. It wouldn't be Luton if things were plain and simple, would it? Same could be said for Bournemouth, but uh, yeah, we um, 
had to go 3-0 down to win 4-3. Incredible comeback. And uh, yeah, I won't say too much more. We'll leave you hanging for the second look. A very brief one where we'll just dissect this. And there'll be plenty of content over international break as well. But for now, up the cherries. And I'll be seeing you. Do you still want-